crowd here at Rutgers Stadium with these great conditions. Championship weekend continues tomorrow with Division II and three championships. And then we'll be with you live on Monday as the winner of this game faces the Princeton Tigers. Michael Springer, this is Michael Powell, the emotional, artistic leader, really the creative force of the offensive end. If you take a look at Syracuse, they're going to present matchup problems to any team they face. And it starts with Mike Powell right there. His quickness, his dynamic ability with the ball on his stick demands the double team. And then that puts the other team's defense in motion. And from there, it gets ugly. You got shooters like Mike Springer and Brian Nee and Kaufman, Spencer Wright and Brian Soliday, the best offensive team in the nation, Syracuse, 14 points per game. Yeah, Virginia will be challenging this team with a lot of young players. We talked about Connor Gill in our open and Christmas and Yaboli. Those two guys are freshmen and they will be challenged in our first semifinal. Hopkins young freshman took about a half of a game to get accustomed to the pressure of playing in front of almost 30,000 people. John Christmas the blinding eye catching speed just can run by a flat out sprinter and then Yaboli has done nothing wrong. He is an incredible finisher from in front of the goal. His shooting percentage is outstanding, rarely misses the cage, and can catch anything thrown to him inside the beltway. The guy's got hands that are just amazing. He has a 44% shooting accuracy mark, 37 goals on the season, and only 84 shots. And Christmas, a very balanced attack with 26 goals and 15 assists. Teams listen to the instructions from the refs. They come across and shake hands. Ten guys on the field getting ready to do battle. Face-offs will be huge. Syracuse lost 20 of 23 face-offs in the quarterfinals against Duke. Getting face-offs. Bickle only had three of 23 face-offs last week. Let's see if he can make an adjustment here. Body had the ball. It was not picked up yet, but Syracuse gets possession. Wing play critical when you want to get possession of the ball. Jared Park gets it in the offensive zone. Look at him slicing inside the defense. But Virginia just collapsed the whole offensive zone, and they get the ball back. Park is a great story, a two-sport athlete, st freshman star on the Syracuse soccer team. Virginia now sets up their first offensive situation. Whistle blows on the field. It's a little bit complicated when they switch into the field these days because you make so many substitutions to get the right people in place. Christmas in an isolation move, using his great speed to put pressure right away on Syracuse. He went one-on-one -on -one right off the bat and challenged immediately. And this matchup, we're gonna have to keep our eye on it because Saul Bliss is one of the biggest defenders in the nation. Six foot three, 215 pound junior. Christmas though, with his speed, it might be a tough matchup for Bliss. He's almost too big for his own good. And Christmas is gonna utilize his speed. Another isolation this time. Shannon comes in, he goes far pipe, and Virginia scores first. Another isolation move, and A.J. Shannon really had a tremendously accurate shot to put it inside the orange pipe. Virginia is gonna pick on the defensive midfielders, and you see right here, they take the face off, and the defensive specialist put Shia to the net. Shannon from Canada loves to shoot it left-handed and loves to shoot low. Buries this against Pfeiffer. Back to the face-off circle. As you look at A.J. Shannon. Good move for him as they come in. And Virginia collects another face-off. Pusha was in there for that face-off, and they made a change. Christmas comes rifling in with his speed from the goalie's left side. And Virginia has stunned Syracuse with a 2-0 lead. Desco speechless on the sideline. We're going to have a slashing foul to boot here. Christmas just too fast. Turbo charge takes it and runs by Saul Bliss like he's standing still and buries it to the near side. Incredible effort. Bliss has got to change his angles. He has not respected the speed of that man right there. John Christmas, the freshman from Ardmore, PA. First Shannon, then Christmas, and Pfeiffer has not had a chance to get comfortable. Two hard shots, well placed. 18 seconds between the goals. And a penalty on that play. They'll play a man short. First extra man play for Virginia. Not only a two-goal lead, but here comes some pressure on their EMO. 
nothing like getting the young players involved, getting them comfortable with this unique arena, and getting Christmas involved right away. Yaboli inside behind the back. What a great shot for Virginia to can that one. Jarrett Little puts it in there for goal number three. Beautifully placed and a tremendous behind the back shot to give him more room on the shot as Pfeiffer absolutely reeling. Jared Little from Carthage, the same school that produced Mike Powell and Josh Kaufman. One of the first Carthage players ever to go to Virginia. The extra man though, you, you see he's covered well, but somehow puts that behind his back and beats Pfeiffer. Here it is again, you see the coverage is not particularly bad. No angle, so he tucks it over his shoulder. Jared Little on the extra man. Infraction on the faceoff against Chris Bickley. He moved too quickly, and Virginia gets it. Three goals in the last 42 seconds. This is normally the stuff of Syracuse legend, but Virginia is taking it right to him. No fear here as Christmas attacks Saul Bliss again. Obviously, Quint, this is something that Dom Starja feel, feels was an advantage to him. Round three right there, though, won by Bliss. Give him credit. I just think Bliss will be in good shape. He just needs to react to the speed of Christmas. It's kind of a unique assignment for him, being so big, Christmas so fast. He's got to re-gauge uh, the speed of Christmas and take the proper angles. He'll be, he'll be fine from here, I believe. They played in the first game of the season and saw Bliss held Christmas to one goal in that game. They throw it out of bounds and give the ball back to Virginia again. No comfort level yet for the Syracuse Orangemen, who come in here probably thinking their ticket is half punched to go to the championship. Rough start for Jay Pfeiffer right there. One of the keys to me for Virginia is possessing the ball today, making Syracuse play defense. But what that does is it keeps the ball out of the stick of Mike Powell and Josh Coffin. And what I've seen historically with those two is when they don't get many touches, they tend to make poor decisions. It's been in Virginia's offensive end the whole game, not two and a half minutes yet gone by. This is a very early game. And the pressure has been intense on the defense of Syracuse. Yavoli looking for Christmas. Connor Gill on the crease. Here. Yeah. They put him to the crease. They pulled the finisher off, and they put Connor Gill in the crease, meaning the best defenseman, John Glatzel, was kind of taken out of the slide packages. Ooh, Pfeiffer made a save there. He never really saw. Partial screen in front. possession for Syracuse. The matchup will be Hughes against Powell. Tough assignment for Hughes as Michael Powell can put pressure on anybody. Kaufman, the other half of that dynamic duo. Change of direction so quick. Kaufman comes in and gets the slide check. Beautifully done by Virginia, not giving him any room. And here come the Cavaliers. Tremendous speed as they clear the ball in their offensive end. Rotelli takes that from Tillman Johnson and legs it up. Hughes, Fred Hughes, the sophomore, will be matched up against Powell. Steve Holmes, the freshman, he draws Kaufman. Those two battles will go a long way in determining the winner today. If Virginia can't handle those individual battles, expect his own defense. Rotelli, working the ball behind to Yaboli. They come around to Connor Gill, who now came off the crease. Gill, Glatzel. Inside of Christmas, who just missed the goal. They're really moving around and putting their defensive players in different positions. This time, Christmas goes to the crease. Connor Gill, the confident feeder, puts the ball where you want it as a shooter. So all you've got to do is catch it. You can look at the goal and then nail your shot. Last week, so effective because his accuracy was right there. Warding off is the call. The ball handler lifted his arm, pushing away the defensive check giving the ball back to Syracuse. They have not had a clean possession yet, Quint, as Spencer Wright has trouble collecting it. Solid A lot of veteran leadership down here as Michael Powell calls a play. We'll start with Solid A. He's got a cannon from the outside. Pick step by Wright, big shot. You heard the stick check, though, sending it high and wide. For my money, this Virginia defensive midfield of Trey Whitty, Nick Russo and Brendan Moeller, the best in the nation. Unfortunately, you've got to stop the Syracuse attack today, not their midfielders. Nick Russo looking for the slide. He comes inside with the shot by Powell. Gets over the defensive check of Ned Bowen. And 
The first big time save for Tillman Johnson. Powell gets it back. Powell putting pressure inside. Behind the back feed. And in the crease on Syracuse will give Virginia the ball. Push call, though. And they're going to put it right back in Syracuse's hands. They reset very quickly. Kaufman tried to get position on the defense as he backed in. Powell's shot, you'll see the save by Johnson, who tends to go low sometimes. You'll see him cheat low. That time he saw it all the way. Controls his rebound. The ball nearly kicked over the goal line. Syracuse now with a little bit of offense. Possession time. And fresh midfield in for them. Mike Smith with the ball. Smith had a ball in high school in New York. Springer, the finisher, off to the wing. Smith, Malone, and Hardy, the second midfield line. This is Tom Hardy, one of the captains. Trying to get it inside of Des Kaufman. Three fakes, and Kaufman buries it to make it a 3-1 game. He had all the time in the world once he got the ball. And a little action after the, the goal here. We're going to have a penalty. It either may be taunting against Cal Kaufman or a foul against Virginia. Kaufman really stood in front of Tillman Johnson. Watch the fakes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. No way Tillman Johnson can make the save. And that could be taunting right there because a foul was dropped. Or it could have been a late hit on Virginia. Here it is. Great isolation. Kaufman tiptoeing the crease, carrying that ball. Quit. It's going to be against Virginia because they're bringing out their extra man offense. So it was the hit on Virginia. Not only did they allow the goal, but now they're down a man. It was a huddle of players after the goal. Words were being exchanged. Some laundry was dropped. So the foul against Virginia. Right up top, moving it around. Spencer right number six. Interesting in the fact that he came from California. Showing some of the growth of lacrosse. Hoffman down low. Powell gets it to the left-hand side. Springer, he's got Kaufman right there. That play was designed for Springer's outside shot. We call him the stealth bomber because of his velocity. Fastest shot in the game. Spencer Wright goes to the right hand, taking away a little bit of his angle, and Johnson, windshield wiper, puts it behind the net. But still, Syracuse with the explosive shots in possession. Six on five, extra man opportunity. Springer, and he misses to the left. Boy, that's what a goalie hates to see. Springer up top with time and room. Don Desco, a little concerned about the start with Syracuse down by three, now through the one. Shot blocked by the defense. I tell you, that goes a long way. Steve Holmes selling out in front to ball block that up. shot. Great job for Syracuse to come up there and beat Virginia to the ball. Springer. Teams at even strength, six on six. Rocket shot by Mike Powell. He handcuffed Tillman Johnson. He dropped the stick low, and Quentin, he put it right on his fists and really handcuffed the, the stick save. Nobody else in lacrosse would even dare that shot. The cocky confidence of Mike Powell. Sidearm rips it. Johnson just, just, he took an inch off the post, and the ball was past him on the near side. So Kaufman and Powell, the two players we profiled early on, the guys who have led the Syracuse offense all season long, step up to the plate. They are down three to nothing. Kaufman, Powell, make it a 3-2 game. What a wild beginning to an offensive show in our semifinal number two. Ooh, illegal procedure against De Villiers, the face-off specialist from Virginia. He moved early slightly, and then Bickle moved more. The fans thought it was against Bickle, but the ref was right there. Anticipation, getting that first move on the whistle, so important for this faceoff. Now taking on Brett Hughes, and Brett Hughes wins that battle. Great stick skills Hughes has. Gets the ball back to Lynn Johnson now, clearing out of the box. Gives it to Nick Russo. Emotional player for Virginia. A great game last week and a close quarterfinal win. Christmas slows things down. The pace has been incredible in the first 
Six minutes in this game, seven, eight minutes. We're just Virginia's the soft list really getting more comfortable with what you talked about, Glenn. He's really judging the speed of Christmas better now. Yeah, he'll get more and more comfortable. He'll be fine. Bliss, to me, is one of the emerging great defensemen in the country. I wouldn't be surprised next year if he's one of the top five in the nation. AJ Shannon trying to get loose on Tom Hardy. Shannon, great stick fakes. Out top, Moeller lets a cannon go and just misses the pipe. Shannon is sitting on a big day today. The book against Syracuse's defense is their short stick defenders are not very effective. Shannon is an ex-attackman who loves to isolate on the wing. He can generate maybe five or six shots today, maybe put up two or three goals. And that time it was Connor Gill getting off a pretty effective shot on Glatzel. The reverse roll coming around the goalie's left. He went a little bit wide, but Christmas with the speed and the attack backs it up. Interesting storyline though. Gill, they're putting him inside. They're making Glatzel be the slide man, the double team man. Now they rotate him off the crease. Good feed up to Yaboli, but Pfeiffer surprisingly coming up with a, a very comfortable save. He has now gotten himself into a comfort level after that first barrage of shots that he faced in the two minutes of the game. Flashy pass by Billy St. George, deep in his own zone, puts the ball over his shoulder in front of the goal. UVA out shooting Syracuse at this point, eight to five, and most of that was done in the first three minutes of the game. Springer looking for some help on the slides, going against Ned Bowen. Ball checked down, Tillman Johnson releases very quickly, and here comes the Cavaliers. Trey Whitty gets it upfield, waits, tremendous stick skills. This is their best long pole defender. You'll see a lot of him. Kind of deal, sneaking around. No, it was Yaboli with his great speed, the left-hander freshman. Quint, they are really getting the green light. Virginia is to go to the goal if there's an opening. They are not sitting on anything. Awful quick possessions. Trey Whitty has scored a goal this year. Yavoli just front swings. St. George is forced to jump over the netting, and that gives Yavoli that one step separation that he needed. Got to keep coming there. Young players, you're watching this game. Turn the corner, increase your angle. Pfeiffer brings the ball out on a clear. Virginia dropping back to the midfield line before they put pressure. Glatzel now in possession of it. The midfielder on the top of the screen tries to give him room to go over. And they're going to call Connor Gill off sides. They're going to say Glatzel had possession and Gill stepped on the line. It was a great hustling play by Connor Gill going over the head, but dancing and tiptoeing along that line. It's been a common theme today. A lot of these offensive players that people perceive to be great offensive players, if you watch game number one, Ryan Boyle, the work he did generating those second chances. You can just see Gill with that hustle play right there, unfortunately, went off sides. Spencer Wright draws the defense to him. Another extra man opportunity for Syracuse. They're down by one. It was a 3-0 lead for Virginia with the last two goals scored by Hoffman and Mike Powell. Springer, Rocket, fakes inside, takes the left hand, and goes high. That was his for the taking after he bought on the fake. He got Trey Whitty to buy on that fake split dodge and rifle the left well, hand. He is such a strong right-handed shooter right there. You can see the defender duck for fear for his life. Springer's been clocked over 100 miles an hour. He's got it again up top. Kaufman locks and loads and a nice save there. It could have hit the pipe. You could hear it. It hit the post. So Tillman Johnson had it measured, but it just went by him and hit the iron. Kaufman again reloads. Teams at even strength, six on six. Tillman Johnson should see 40-plus shots today from this Syracuse team who doesn't have a weak shooter in the litter. All of them can absolutely bring it. They average 42 shots, and they hold their opposition to about 33 on the season average. Spencer Wright taking a little time off the clock in this possession, and here comes Virginia. doesn't like that holding call. They felt that the Syracuse Spencer Wright was trying to draw that call. There you see Trey Whitty's made some huge plays for Virginia this year. Very active defensive long stick this season. 
Chris Rotelli had the ball last time. Chris Rotelli on the field right now. One of their offensive stars in the midfield. Watch for a transition play if 25 gets the ball and heads up. He's kind of leaving early to try to get the fast break. Number 25 at the, at the right of your screen for Virginia. Virginia playing with that. Their first team All-American defenseman, Mark Koontz, hurt late in the season, tore his ACL, done for the year. Virginia struggled a bit without Koontz in the lineup. They've had about three weeks to retool. To me right now, their clearing game seems to be missing Koontz more than anything. They're not getting the ball out of their defensive zone very effectively. Mike Powell rolls by Brent Hughes, but Hughes had it measured and it went wide of Tillman Johnson. But look at the offensive set of Syracuse, a historically explosive team. The explosion has started with Virginia. Syracuse looking to calm things down a little bit and take long possessions. This has been about a three minute possession as Brian Knee, number five, is in the game. This is Soliday. He's an outside gun right there. Again, wide, backed up nicely. Springer. Taking his time, moving it. Back up front, Berman on Springer. He is a time and room shooter. He is not a dodger, does not have very good foot speed. And so Virginia sometimes will bump a short stick on him. Syracuse makes an adjustment, getting Tom Hardy in the game. Now it looks like the one-on-one -on -one set up. Hardy to Kaufman, takes a shot for the right hand upper corner. He had enough room to let it go. Nick Russo there to give him a little bit of resistance, but they maintain possession by backing up that shot. A lot of goals in the first four minutes, Quint. Things have calmed down since. Things have settled down. Syracuse very comfortable now in their offensive patterns. You can see Virginia's packed in, almost in a zone here. Great stop by Tillman Johnson. Michael Powell with that ankle-breaking move you talk about, Quinn, and he got the shot off, but Tillman Johnson right in his chest makes the save. Virginia, fast break. Connor Gill looking to distribute. Inside does, shot by Yavoli, followed up by Crispus, and Pfeiffer makes the save. Alert save by Pfeiffer, really read that well. Didn't guess, and at the last second, boom, he popped down and got his stick on it. It was a fine shot by Yavoli. You can see how dangerous Gill is in those creative situations where the game's not very settled. Gill just finds the open man and gives you the ball where you can do something with it. Credit Pfeiffer, though. Big save right there. Mitch Schmitz goes off the field. Under a minute. You see the time winding down in the first quarter. Virginia just came out on fire. Three quick goals in the first few minutes of this quarter. Springer off the shoulder of Tillman Johnson, then the pipe, and it went back down. That was a wow. big time save. You talk about courage and guts, folks. The lacrosse ball, it's got some weight to it. Springer comes into five yards and gives you everything you, he's got. That ball's moving 90 miles an hour at your face. <laughs> Johnson got a piece of it, sent it to the pipe. Kept the ball out of the net. Hardy, up front. Glatzer, fast break. Is there enough time to take the shot? One more shot. Oh, the check at the last minute will keep them from scoring. Pat Hogan was right in the face of Tillman Johnson, but the Cavaliers push him back. Three to two is the way we'll end the first quarter. An electric offensive show. Second quarter coming up. Like every Subaru, the Forester comes with all-wheel drive standard. The Ford Escape doesn't. The Forester comes with ABS standard. The Escape doesn't. And in independent crash tests, the Forester received the highest rating. The Escape was rated simply marginal. Nice car. What do I look like, a dummy? Subaru Forester, a smarter way to build an SUV. See your local Subaru dealer for information on financing as low as 1.9% APR. Grab a rock. Every woman dreams.
dreams of having hair like this. Soft, manageable, full of body, full of flakes. Head & Shoulders has a separate conditioner. Unlike regular conditioners, it gives protection against dandruff and hydration for your hair and scalp, leaving it smooth, manageable, flake-free. Because every woman should have the hair she dreams of. Head & Shoulders Conditioner. Conditioning you want, flakes you don't. I don't like to draw too much attention. I try to be subtle. But some things are obvious. Like saving a buck or two with 1-800-COLLECT. Saving has never looked so good. 1-800-COLLECT. Save a buck or two. There is a start. There is a finish. And in the journey between, there are dreams. The NCAA Hall of Champions keeps these dreams alive for you. More than a museum, the NCAA Hall of Champions takes you on an interactive journey. Relive some of the most inspirational moments in collegiate sports history and walk in the steps of a student athlete. At the NCAA Hall of Champions, you'll find something for every fan. Discover what it means to be a champion. The journey begins inside. We're back at Rutgers. Michael Powell on the screen, the offensive star for Syracuse. But Tillman Johnson has been a story in the nets for Virginia. Mike Powell, too slick, too quick, too fast for one man to cover. But Tillman Johnson's bailing the Virginia defense out first, the save, and then right off the chest. Johnson sharp early. He's made more saves. Actually, today he's got three. In the first meeting, Leaf, in four quarters, he only made four. So he's off to a good start. This being a showcase game, expect a big, big effort from the emotional Tillman Johnson. And he had a lift early on because his offense put on the first three goals of this game. It was 3-0 Virginia before Kaufman and Powell answered. Now, Quint, that was all in the first seven minutes, five goals. In the last eight minutes of that half, neither team scored. So things have settled down. And now it gets a little more of a tactical war. Eight shots, no goals. After the start, that had four shots and three goals for Virginia. Nine shots. So second quarter will have a different kind of profile as Christmas starts for Virginia. Rotelli, the offensive star in the midfield, looks for a pick from Shannon. Rotelli inside, got some room, and he's got rope. Chris Rotelli just too strong, too much room, no help there. You've got to double up and help him out as Pfeiffer absorbs that one. Virginia back to a two-goal lead. Rotelli unassisted. Terrific quickness. Look at the clear out by all the Virginia players are really on that side of the goal that give Rotelli space to operate. The double team a little late. That's poor defense. You can't go over the head like this in a national semifinal game. There's no help. No one's sliding to take the body, and Rotelli takes advantage of it. A sensational isolation player with the ball in his stick. Fast break off the faceoff, but they'll calm things down. Rotelli is definitely one of the most feared offensive stars in lacrosse. You need more than one guy focusing on his offensive efforts. He will typically draw Joseph Askanski Number 42 for Syracuse. But the matchup changed on that last possession. Rotelli was smart enough to see he was being covered by Brett Walther. Syracuse gets it back to Springer. Spencer right up top as Syracuse just taking that patient offense and looking for the right matchups. This is Soliday. Going to his left, just knocks the Virginia player down, and you notice the right arm coming up. That's a warding off of the defensive check, and you lose the ball when you do that. Two big-time athletes. Solid a 6'3", 210. Nick Russo, one of the tough guys in lacrosse, getting down and giving him some cross-check defense. He's 6 foot 195 pounds. Last week in the Cornell game, he absolutely freight-trained two Cornell big red players with the ball on a stick. Russo just dropped the shoulders and just pummeled him. Tough guy. Russo drives the emotion.